Oh, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at proxy editing. Proxy editing is where you have a very slow computer and you need to get it to do something like high definition. For example, in this case, having prepared a very short, very short clip as our test, you can see I this computer and along with the uh, screen capture program making it worse, it can't give me anything fluid to edit with. However, that's not going to stop me doing the project. What I'm going to do is take that clip and then I'm going to edit a clip and all of the clips that you have or that you're going to use one by one, you will need to render a lower resolution version. In my media, I'm going to go to media and I'm going to select an MPEG-2 codec to render this one as that's what this computer can handle. I'm going to go for just a standard definition DV high quality and it's going to give me a 720 by 480 standard definition and I'm going to give it a widescreen aspect ratio. So now I can render that and it will open up the media encoder and then I'm going to render each individual shot one by one to take a low resolution version of that video then render it then when I'm finished I can now get rid of my original piece of footage and go get the new one. And then when I put my new low, re low resolution version in, you can see in the preview screen that it's smaller than my high definition project because it's 720 by 480 in this case instead of 1920 by 1080. However, that's no problem. I can just zoom in to 50% and you will find that my computer now will not quite give it smoothly because of the screen capture, but without the screen capture program, it will give me a piece of footage in real time. That means now I can do all that you would normally do for, for a normal video, like change your clips around and then um, maybe color balance it change your audio sorry go and get a, a color balance and check my blacks and whites maybe saturation and maybe my white balance or color balance and then saturation like that a bit to come up with something that we're happy with and that will play hopefully without this screen program um, a project that you can preview in real time and smooth mode so you can edit it properly then when you're finished you can go to your project properties and get the file that you have now got your low resolution one which is in this case my test right click on it and then go to replace footage then you're going to replace it with the one that you have your original high definition footage and the program will now give us if I get that to fit the full version that replaces all the versions. You'll have to do that with each individual file, but it is a way of getting your old computers to edit properly. And now you can render out your final video in your high definition format. And in this case, I'm going to go to H264 and an HDTV which will give me 1920 by 1080 and in my case I'm only going to need it to be 10 to 15 megabytes per second because 
the camera and video and SD card won't go any higher than that anyway, so that's what I'll render it at. Then render that final output. And the test of that is now going to be So that's one way of doing a high definition project on a computer that's not capable of editing in full high definition but using proxies or lower resolution ones and then replacing them with the high definition one.